Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we'll take a quick look at some of the starter tripods. So in case you're just starting out making YouTube videos or even short films, you'll need a sturdy tripod. In the end of the video, we'll be doing a camera pan with all three of the tripods to get a better understanding. Note that none of the tripod has a fluid head. So first up, we have the Fortron Study 450. It is one of the most famous starter tripod in India. Anyone who buys a DSLR for the first time gets the Fortron Study 450 knowingly or unknowingly. And there are good reasons for that. It is really lightweight, you can carry it anywhere you want. It comes with a tripod bag, foam gripping and a 3-way pan head. It can bear a maximum of 2.75 kg of weight. The plastic used is a bit flimsy. When extended fully, it stands in about 4.5 feet in height. And also when the tripod is fully extended, it is a bit shaky. It is one of the better options to start out with in case you just need a tripod to keep your camera steady on. Going a little further, next up we have the Fortron Study Pro 560. It is an upgrade to the 450. Compared to the 450, it is sturdier, stronger and taller. Also the material used is of a bit higher quality. It comes with foam gripping, a different handle in case you want to move it and a hook to load weight so that you can make it steadier when it's fully extended. It weighs in about 1.38 kgs and can bear a weight of 5 kgs so its maximum height is 5.8 feet. Overall, it's a good option if you want a tall tripod. So next up, we have the Sony VCT R640. In case you're looking for a tripod which will last you for a long time and give you the best performance, look no further. As soon as you touch it, you really feel the difference. It is really premium. So this tripod doesn't have foam grip or separate handle or a hook to bear weight. Frankly speaking, you don't need those things in a tripod. What you need from a tripod is stability and smooth pan in case you're making videos. And that's exactly what this tripod gives you. It weighs in about 1.2 kg and can bear a weight of 3 kg. It doesn't come with a tripod bag, you have to buy that separately. When fully extended, it stands in about 4.7 feet and even when fully extended, it's very sturdy, unlike other tripods. So I have used all of these tripods for at least 6 months and they have had their fair share of wear and tear as I use them very roughly as I have to travel a lot for shooting. So keep that thing in mind before the pan test as a new tripod will always be smoother. So let's move on to the pan test. Hope this makes things clear for you. So in conclusion, in case you're just starting out, you can go for the Fortron Study 450 and then upgrade to a better one. And if your work demands a tall tripod, the Fortron Study Pro 560 is your best option. But for me, the Sony VCT R640 is the best option. It might be a bit costlier, but in the longer run, it actually saves you a lot of money. That's all from me now. Stay strong and keep trying. See you on the next one.